Okay, some quick little commentary on a quick little tournament between, or tournament match between Gazbag and Titan Drake. Um, Barra's a good card. There's Old Witch. There's Jack. I think you probably do something with one Jack. Probably get Magpies, Plazas, maybe Menageries and Dungeons and Conclave, and you get almost everything, I guess. Um, Borrow works well with Jack. Um, I'm actually not sure. You might be able to skip Magpie here. Anyway, let's comment a little bit more on what they're doing. Gold is a little bit odd to me. I would think you just keep getting border villages and whatever. You don't really need gold. Um, I do like getting one Jack. And I think probably only one Old Witch, and you play some money-ish kind of thing. Um, gains are limited, so you really are about trying to be quick. Um, but I do like one Jack to help trash some of the curses, as well as your uh, estates, and maybe you just don't have time for this stuff, as it ends up. Plaza Jack and Borrow all have, well, Plaza and Borrow both have synergy with Jack. You play Jack next. Yeah, it's a good play order there from Gazbag. <clears throat> okay, and I think I would not have gotten the Border Village in the second Old Witch there. I would have just gotten a three probably and saved my coffers. Because it's, it's going to be about blitzing up these, uh, and now I would get, like, Border Village, and I wouldn't want a third Old Witch. I really wouldn't. Two, two I can see, given the way the game's playing out, but I, I really don't think I'd want a third. I'd probably take another Plaza or something. Um, let's also talk for a second about piles. Uh, curses are going to pile. Magpies will probably pile. And... I guess there isn't a third pile that's super close, uh, particularly because I really don't think you want more old witches. Um, well, you've got to trigger the shuffle anyway, because you want to play the jack to be able to trash probably the estate over the curses, because you can get the curses later. You should definitely take a province here. Go ahead and trash this guy. And Titan Drake is actually going to spend up to get the province there. I think that might be a little bit premature. The other hand, ooh, I don't like spending a coffer there for a border village at all. Um, like, the the extra value of another village is just not that high in your deck, I don't think. Um, I was thinking about Dutchy. <laughs> the, the value of a coffer is pretty high. Play your witches next. Oh, I would have played the witch before doing that. Okay, whatever. Um, you continue to try to stack coffers. I see I would have discarded for the coffers again, I think. Um, obviously, you just discard two curses or whatever. And I guess you... No, nah, I would discard that because I want to have a curse in my hand. Uh, anyway, you definitely buy province here, of course. I would have discarded this dungeon just because I'm trying to get the, the curse in my hand. This obvious borrow is obvious. Obvious discards are obvious. This is really, really good. I would discard for, for the coffers here. Um, yeah. The third witch seems to be problematic here. I think. Okay, you gotta trash this curse. And then that's good. And then Border Village. Old Witch. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't play these. Oh, maybe I would? I don't know. I would have thought more about triggering that shuffle. I guess they're playing this rapid tournament where you don't really have time to think. He has a zillion money. We have a tied game. Um Gazbag is more likely to be able to, you should buy an estate here, uh, to be able to um, trash his remaining curses, I think. Discard that copper. 
play the jack because you're you're hunting for curse and you found it wow that's really nice that's really nice and now you can province safely i believe because he found the curse to trash um And now this is going to be duchy. I don't know that you actually want to take the border village, because Titan Drake doesn't want to lower piles. Yeah, it's because of the first player thing that uh, that it's fine for Gasbag to province there, and he can just province again here, win the game. Yeah, I think the jack of all trades really made all the difference there. Um, Wow, that was four old witches? Well, I really think that's too many. But maybe the third one was fine in that case. He did end up with Titan Drake having a ton of curses, and I think that the worry about the over whatever with uh, the thing and the other thing, the, the trashing is kind of a little bit overblown, the trashing of the curses. Um... So I would have played a little bit differently at a few points, but you guys back more or less had the strategy that I liked. Um, not that they were that different from each other. Okay, we have knights, we have trove, we have lost arts, we have royal blacksmith, we have... Which one is basilica again? It's where you have extra money. Okay, well, Titan Drake gets Sir Martin here, if he so desires. Um, I'm not sure how great that is. You can worry, be worried a bit about Nightmare here, but... Um, on the other hand, if you go for treasure trove or something, that's going to take care of you. Um, at some point, I think knight's still worth it, but there isn't much draw here. There's, there's only lackeys um, and royal blacksmith. Well, royal blacksmith is a lot of draw, but you obviously need to uh, smash a bunch of coppers before that's going to be very good for you. Um, Sir Martin hits, which is pretty nice this early. Gaz takes a mountain village, which makes sense. That's a cute little combination with the armory. Ooh, this is big. Um, so he can take silver here and be able to get Anna. Which I assume he's going to do? Yeah. So that was a pretty nice turn of events for Gasbag. Martin misses this time. Four, four. He probably needs a village soonish. Guess he could have gone for double lackeys. He could trash Vander for gold. Seems terrible. Um, he top stacks Vander. That's probably okay. So here, I think I would have taken the estate. But it worked out OK. Vander trashes, I assume, dungeon. Yup. And I guess to trash two things here, and he gets to buy another lackeys. So Gazbag's deck is looking pretty decent at this point. He's been able to trash quite a bit. Um, having said that, the knights are coming. Right now it's Molly against Anna, which is advantage uh, Anna in this case, I think. The lackeys are also coming pretty, pretty heavy, though. Um, gets a silver there. That's a little bit interesting. That's not exactly what I would have expected. 
The lookout is gone for Gazbag, but that's not such a big deal at this point, particularly because he has Anna. Um, yeah. And now we get to trash the coppers. And let's see what he gets. He gets a treasure trove and s rather than knights, which I think makes enough sense, although <laughs> the immediate trashing by Sylvia makes it look not so good. Um, yeah, this is also a trick. He can force that draw and here I think you've got to take Michael because Michael's just too powerful um, too good of a knight Natalie's also pretty good in this situation I think um, huh did I catch this right? I think... Why did I think that Gazbag had more money that he could have played than that? He did. He could have... So his auto buy is making him miss out on some Basilica points there. Could be costly. This is Lost Arts on Lackeys. Um, that's reasonable. He has a lot of Lackeys, I suppose. Gold, sure. It's not going to matter. This is deck draw. And it has to be just trashing estate because you need the money. Um, wow, he also trashes a copper. That seems wrong. Takes a silver. I don't like trashing the copper there. I want to take a five cost instead of a instead of a th instead of the silver. So I would have looked for here I think it's time for Anna to go. Um, I would have looked for, I think, Natalie, because Natalie can gain silvers, um, but Treasure Trove also would have been fine. And Province there seems early from Titan Drake to me. I think I would have, especially with Basilica out, taken Natalie and, and kept going on that train. Um, again, yeah, okay. Um, I'd be looking, I would have been looking for Nightmare where I Titan Drake. Uh, nightmare, I guess I should explain. Basically what I mean by that is... Well, I don't know if I'd keep playing these lookouts either. But basically what I mean by that is um, getting to a stage where just playing knights has effectively won the game. Uh, by just trashing your opponent's deck to death. Here, Titan Drake, yeah, takes more knights. Probably play the armory here. Takes more lackeys, interesting. And the last knight goes there. Um, so let's see. I think the knights are two to two in terms of what's left. Titan Drake, because of the point lead, I think has somewhat of a significant advantage because this mountain village pile is um, is going. Um, if Gazbag would have been taking his, uh, I'm not sure about the treasure trove there, but it's probably okay. Taking the mountain village is a bit risky. Yeah, I really think Titan Drake has a big advantage here, because the mountain villages can easily pile pretty quick. And um, he has the big points lead that is going to be hard for. So, like, just play armory here, put a mountain village on top, and buy a province. And it's going to be really hard for Gazbag to come back. Gazbag can't really armory for more mountain villages here. He probably takes like a dungeon. 
he took the mountain village, doesn't that just lose immediately? Like, uh, as long as Titan Drake finds four money and there he finally took Basilica points, but as long as Titan Drake finds his four money and his armory, and he has it, he has the win in hand now. Yeah, I think Gazbag, I don't know, he just missed the three pile possibility, but also somehow in the middle of the game. I think he had an advantage from the trashing, but uh, it got squandered. I'm not sure if how much of that's because of misplay versus, you know, whatever else. Um, obviously not taking Basilica points also hurt rather significantly. Um, And we can clearly see that uh, second player has an advantage here. That's a joke, by the way. This is supposed to be a fast tournament. Quit talking, get to the next game. Um, <laughs> that's uh, totally fine, of course. Okay, we have Jack again, we have City Gate, we have Market, we have uh, so many things. Century, Market Square, Improve. Um, improve Rats? I wonder how much of a thing that is. I kind of like City Gate openings. Um, it's probably kind of crazy seeming, but particularly with uh, the Necropolis, you go Jack of All Trades. It's really hard to get a ton of provinces here. I'd be kind of inclined to go for City Gate, Jack, and Duchy Duke. Um, but even if you're going for something else, getting to Century quickly, City Gate helps you do that a lot. Um, I don't know about improve. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to improve with improve, so it's probably fine. Um, shouldn't that have been, a, have been improved before Jack there? Am I missing something? Seems like it should have to me. Not sure about this sentry here. I think I, I might have already slammed Duchy. I don't believe that there actually is any synergy between sentry and, and city gates. There is some synergy with market square and being able to line that up better. City Gate and Chariot Race, that's some synergy, yeah. But I think, well, maybe getting some amount of sentry in order to be able to trash, actually maybe even improve in rats. I do think Duchy Duke should be an eventually important thing here, though. Maybe you do need to trash some coppers with either sentry or rats, or I guess maybe both. Um, but I would be slamming some dead. Whoa, talisman. Okay, someone wants a lot of chariot races. Ugh. 
Öff. Öff. Um, two, three, four, five. It's not the greatest. Um, I assume we're going to see two chariot races here. Like That's why you get talisman. But I'm not totally convinced by this. Um, this is probably triple gold. And I think I might agree that rats may be a better way, especially with improve, to trash the coppers because you can then improve the rats into, and you don't get the benefit of drawing them, but because the, the improve works kind of nicely, um, maybe not actually. Yeah, I, I take that back. I'm not sure that the rats are so great. Centuries may be better. Because it's hard to trash. Maybe you get some rats, but you at least need some sentry. And if you need some sentry, I'm not sure that I want to spend the time on some rats. I don't really like the talisman thing, though. Um, I, What I really dislike, though, is the lack of duchies or dukes gained. I understand that you can set up your chariot races, but the deck that I want to play will have mostly threes and fives in it, I think, um, because I will get at least one century in order to start setting that up, I think, um, to, to thinning out the coppers and the, and the um, shelters. And I think it's gonna be pretty hard to score enough points with the chariot race, especially going for mass chariot race. Now, obviously you play a little bit differently if you're not going for mass chariot race, I don't know. But I still think that Duchy Duke should really favor or factor in here, I guess is the right word. And this is going to be emptying the chariot races. So, okay, now we get to this interesting portion of the game. Um, so he knows that there's a copper on top. He should have played the chariot race. Yeah, that was a misplay from Titan Drake. He should have played the Chariot Race when he knew that he had a Market Square on top against Gazbag's uh, Copper. And again, I would have won a double Duchy there rather than, than what, what has been happened here. What has been happened. That's some, that's some good language. Um, and he put Talisman back, but just putting Gold back is just much better, right? Um, now he knows that he's up against a market square, so discarding versus keeping those doesn't really make much difference. Uh, okay, and now he's gonna province as well? Yeah. Province is an expensive card. Um, Gazbag seems a little bit head because he's uh, up on the chariot race split. Um, Trashing this overgrown estate is nice. Would not be reacting these market squares anymore. And does he know what he's up against? Obviously the province is gonna score. He should leave both of these on top. And it's just the question of the which way he orders them. So because he knew there was a chariot race on top, I think he should have left the one chariot race for his next hand is it's better going to be better in his opening hand than anywhere else. So I'm also not sure how much of a fan I am of... He had two? No, he had 14 there. Yeah, maybe there isn't a lot to do in terms of getting three... He couldn't get three duchies, but still I'm not entirely convinced. Um, he knows here he's up against duchy, so this chariot race can win one. And he just provinces again, I assume. Yeah. So a close game for sure. And this could be double duchy, but instead he goes for province. So Titan Drake. And I guess at this point in the game, that kind of makes sense because the longer game is going to favor the more chariot races, and he does not have enough of a start on Duchy Duke that 
that going for it at this point seems kind of not so great. Now again, he knows that he's up here against um, a three, so he should play such that, uh, yeah. So now Titan Drake is in a really tough spot, basically. Um, so he should play a market square here. He should just put these back on top, play a market square to draw the sentry, then play sentry again. And does he know what he's up against? He's up against a chariot race. So again, same thing here. He can safely discard this province and still score from the chariot race. And now he has 12, so he could double duchy here. Uh, he could province double estate, but that's very risky. Double duchy seems like the standard play. And now Gas should put the sentry back. Yeah, now he should play the sentry. And it's probably worth keeping the province on top here. And market square. Um, I disagree. I think that the double duchy was probably better, although he has a really bad hand right now, so I don't know. Um, obviously, Gaz is getting some pretty good... Uh, pretty good fortune here to be able to you trash this talisman so fast to be able to do what he's doing here he could also double duchy in response if you're going to go province I think you need to get an estate this seems risky um, but it works out okay obviously stick a province back Yeah, none of this stuff is doing anything for you winning chariot races, but aha, now the gold means that he can win this race and then win the game from it. Because that gets him to eight. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. It's possible that that's good enough. It's really hard to tell. I still lean toward Duchy Duke there, but it's possible that I'm very, very, very wrong. And that the addition of Chariot Race, particularly with the golds that you can gain, might be enough to... Yeah, I don't know. I agree with Gazbag that his second to last province was probably not good. Because he had eight Chariot Races. And it just opens the door for him to losing fast, and I think he should be favored in the long game there. But I think the, the Duchy Duke thing can start getting duchies like very quickly. Um, so I don't know. And and City Gate should be good for that kind of a deck because it helps you line up the exact amount you need so that you have five a lot and you're not wasting your money. Obviously, uh, Jack of All Trades is good for that deck. Yes, Province and Duchy would have won. Anyway, let's move into the next game. Spice Merchant. Merchant is a pretty good main. Not sure that I would... Yeah, probably good enough to avoid Young Witch, especially with Horn Aplenty. 
um, which I think is a thing that you want to do here. I'm less confident about Temple. I'm also less confident that Gazbek should have drawn there, but he's probably not playing a close and that close attention given that the time of what's happening here. Market and Temple over Gold and a five is interesting, but I do like the Haggler. Um, and yeah, getting a lot of merchants is fine. Although at some point, kind of like Pearl Diver? Mostly is another unique. It's really hard to draw here though. So I guess the Horn of Plenty probably isn't doing that much. Fair enough. Um, but you need some silvers instead of just slamming all merchants all the time, I kind of think. Uh, here I'd probably take another market. Crown is also reasonable. I think I would have taken market and uh, and merchant, but you know the crown is fine. Huh. My gut was that I would have crowned there, but I'm not sure. Maybe that's wrong. Here, probably market and merchant. Golden market. Okay, that's that's reasonable. I think you play the merchants first here in case you draw your crown. Um, as opposed to the market for gas bag. Crown and merchant, sure. Advances a temple. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you play the merchants first in case you draw crown, and that's why. Well, I guess at that point it's fine because if you drew the spice merchant, yeah, 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 this is okay. Um, go ahead and play the temple to trash the last estate. Even though it costs you some stuff, you go province, pro probably province, gold, market, merchant. Another crown is fine, but I think I would have taken a second gold. Temple starting to be worth a decent number of points probably should be taken here by Titan Drake. With four, there's not really that much else you want to do. He takes the merchant instead, which is obviously better for his deck, but um, now this spice merchant I think is begging to be advanced at this point. Ugh, this is not really what you're looking for. I guess this is fine because you can multiple advance. Uh, so you go province, gold, market, sure, temple, poor, pearl diver, and then advance both of these things into maybe a market and a crown. Maybe two markets. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And now the crown on golds is also interesting. I wouldn't mind another silver at some point either because it's not like they're drawing their decks. And yeah. But Gazbag looks to have a pretty big advantage here, I think. Um, the deck qualities are kind of similar, but, you know, Gazbag has a two province lead. Horn of Plenty, huh? I don't know. I don't think your draw is good enough for that. Maybe I'm wrong. It's really hard to draw enough, though. So this should be province something, gold something. Like, I wouldn't mind gold, silver. Again, he's getting very lucky to draw his one and only silver every turn. Um, and at some point that's not going to happen, because he's not drawing his deck. So a second or third silver uh, to, not, to have these merchants not be able to get stranded seems good to me, but... Okay, these are kind of hard things to see sometimes. Uh, yeah, you can't get that many horns, so it's tough. He's going to trash the Spice Merchant this way. 
Is this enough for province? Merchant crown market, that's three. Pearl diver, that's four. Haggler, that's five. Temple, that's six. Horn is seven. No, it's not. And that's a lot of horns to try to get all of. I guess you can crown the horn. That's interesting. But it, you just don't have the draw here, I don't think, for that plan to really be good. Just crown this market, I guess. Not sure. It might have been better to crown the gold. Um, in any case, here we see these, these three merchants stranded. So that's kind of what I'm worried about. Get a province and a crown, and then a silver and a pearl diver and advance to crown. I wonder how close he is to actually just ending the game. If he would have gone for ending the game. Uh, and Apo in the chat says that he had it. So interesting. Yeah, pearl divers are low. Crowns are kind of low. Um, the problem for Titan Drake is that four provinces isn't enough here. And he just doesn't have the draw that he needs. He's gaining more horns, and that just seems like a losing play. He's never going to be able to draw enough horns. Yeah, he takes duchies now, but it's just rough. The, the horn plan just doesn't really work. Uh, crown is a bit dangerous because uh, three marketplace here is probably enough to he just needs to find enough. Yeah, no, he has it. Again, he could advance into crowns and win. Um, he's not looking for that, obviously. But again, he could, he could definitely be Again, he could he could have had it here. Here, here you can just buy them. But yeah, he wasn't looking for the advance, advanced thing there. So we see that, given the time, they are missing some more stuff. Given the speed of it all, obviously, I should also note that I would probably be missing a lot more stuff, and including potentially. Um, What is my brain not working? Including potentially the stuff they're missing. Were I actually playing? It's much easier to see this stuff a lot um, when you're actually watching rather than playing. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that psychological effect is, but it's definitely real. You see the same thing if you do, like, if you're watching, at least for me, when I watch uh, chess on YouTube or uh, sometimes Twitch, Twitch streams. Um, that I see tactics a lot better, uh, especially in comparison to where I am on um, I don't know, in the chess, like <laughs> when I'm watching somebody else do tactics or puzzles or even games in, in chess, I can see a lot better compared to when I'm playing my own games or doing my own tactics puzzles even. So, yeah, I don't know. The second temple may have been, may have been a bit early. It's a lot better to get extra temples once you have like markets, but I don't know.
messenger, changeling, butcher, wharf. Wharf and lost arts is probably the key combination here. Um, but then some butchers at some point. Also helpful. Citadel, I don't know. Um, do you open with butcher or wharf? I think you just gotta race the wharf. Salvager's probably good. You get another wharf here. You're not super happy about it, but you just gotta blitz them. Wow, I don't like double settlers at all. Get a wharf. So like, the problem with double settlers is your opponent can take advantage of the villages just as much as you and they haven't had to waste their time getting all these settlers. And yeah, I still think I would kind of ignore it here because Lost Arch just works fine. Get another silver. Changeling, actually Changeling makes a lot of sense with Worf. Messenger is interesting with Changeling because you can buy a Changeling and give both people something. Citadel, also interesting, I guess. Um, but now we're just going to see Gazbag get all the wharves and win the game, I think. Like He hasn't even been able to get a bustling village yet. He has Citadel, so that's fine, but trash that changeling into a wharf by another changeling? I don't know about that. Like, at some point you do need more money. Maybe you just get all the wharfs first, though. Double wharf? Wharf bustling village. Probably wharf bustling village. Problem is, this is probably another wharf changeling and getting a... Oh, he gets citadel. That's... I guess that's reasonable, given where he was, especially. Wharf, yep. This wharf gets double played, this wharf gets played, this wharf gets played. Yeah, yeah, Gazbag is miles ahead because he has a bunch of wharves. You go double wharf here and probably buy an estate. Ooh, I want to get six wharves instead of just five, but... Oh, he had the changeling. Duh. No, this makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I probably still would have gotten the estate, though. He's drawing plenty, and you can butcher or salvage it. Oh, he's going to butcher the salvager. Maybe it's fine. I guess he doesn't have to play double play wharf. He's going to draw a ton here. Yeah, he could, like, double play Butcher, I think, was better. The Salvager should go into a gold. Merchant Guild. Interesting, interesting. Uh, he didn't want to play his Wharf there. That seems not the best to me. I think it's better to play the Wharf. I don't know. So, he's building more, and I think I would have been inclined to just green, especially with the butcher and all this trash for benefit around. Um, let's see what Titan Drake is also getting these, this stuff. Maybe this is better, at least to some extent, but they really need to start greening very soon. Um, this could be triple changeling, or it could be this, I guess. I don't know how much draw they each have for these coppers, but... Okay, butchering silver into Merchant Guild, I assume. And he has just enough actions to play all this. Yeah, it gets his wharves back to being symmetric here, and I think I'd go... Hmm... He has 11 buys. He could end the game, but not with a win. So this seems fine. Because the curse pile, the curse pile, they have so many buys. Well, particularly Gazback has so many pies that the curse pile is going to be a threat here very, very shortly. 
Um, in fact, I think he probably has a pile out on his next turn. 11 seems like a weird amount of money. Okay, 13. He's going to go province, and the problem is it's not safe to buy the bustling village, and he doesn't have the actions for the other stuff. So if he double plays Merchant Guild here, I think is the best. Okay, this is okay, but he can butcher, he can butcher Wharf into M Merchant Guild and then draw it and then play the Merchant Guild or into Bustling Village. Pretty sure he has a win here, uh, but he's not looking for the pile out. Maybe he didn't have the money for it. I don't know. This is looking a bit dangerous for Gazbag now, to my eyes. 16, is he just going to double? I wonder if emptying 4 is something that Titan Drake can do. You just spam all the coppers here. You have plenty of buys. You just want to be able to say, okay, I'm going to get 4 provinces the next turn. And he should have been able to do that, so he should have just taken like every copper available, because he has three wharves in place, so he has four buys. He could guarantee be able to empty the province, provinces if he just buys all the coppers there. Now it's much trickier, although it's still got to be fine. Yeah, it's still totally fine for him. Titan Drake, you don't, you don't have time in this tournament to sit and think. You're not supposed to do that. Salvager for province, fine. But Gazbag easily, easily wins here. I mean, 19 money is like plenty of money anyway, but could have had more, whatever. He goes double dutch. He, he should also be buying all of the coppers here. So it doesn't matter really what he plays here. He gets the bustling village. It, it really doesn't matter though. He, he can just buy out the provinces with what he has very easily. He butchers province in a province, which is fine but unnecessary because he easily has enough money. Yeah. Bit sloppy in the end game when they're not not thinking that long, but it's, again, it's very easy to be so sloppy at such fast times. Uh, I think that's the I'm not keeping track, but I think that's the match for Gazbag. Maybe he needs to win one more. I I don't really actually even know the rules of the tournament. I was planning to lost arts on wharf, and then I kept not hitting enough money, so I kept buying settlers. But he should have—I think he should have just gotten the second wharf. Um, I really didn't like the settlers, especially with the wharves. Draw is not going to be your problem. The settlers is going to do very little for you. You're always also going to be at the at the top of a shuffle, because either you've drawn your deck or your wharves will trigger that shuffle. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure whether he had. But yes, I think silver is better than double settlers on four, but he had five, I'm pretty sure, one of those hands. So, anyway. Um, I think that's the end of this match, so... Thanks for watching, everybody. And good time of day whenever you happen to be watching this thing. Just, uh, 
just trying to confirm that it's the end, but okay. I'm, I'm happy enough that it is, and I'm going to stop my recording now. Thanks for watching all.